All right, we got the case, the Cooler Master half 932. We got this on the bench ready to uh, install the motherboard. Um, I don't mean to give everybody the middle finger here, but sorry, just how it laid. The easiest way I found is probably to remove this um, graphics card or GPU support. Um, it kind of gives a little bit more support so you don't get any lag and sag and all that stuff. It's real easy to remove just these two screws here. Um, you can pretty much loosen them by hand, or at least most of the time you can. Uh, remove these and just put it on the side. Don't lose the screws. Um, you got your hardware here, which I'm going to need in about five seconds. And you're going to have to uh, find out what they got rid of the paper. They used to have paper here back in the day of what configuration of where you put the um, motherboard, the little uh, risers for the motherboard. Um, this one's a micro um, ATX. It's a micro ATX board. Um, so it has right here, it tells you exactly, they call it standoffs, uh, I call them risers, whatever, it doesn't matter. So you're going to want to put it in A, B, C, E, F, G, I, J, L. So let's do that now. Like I said, it's etched right in here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll uh, try and zoom in. Yeah, you can just barely see that there's letters, but it, it's a lot better. It's a greater, uh, you don't have to worry about paper, ripping it off, setting it all up. This is much easier. I, I like it. Thumbs up to Cool Master. Again, uh, double Fonzie. So, e. so let's uh, put the risers in uh, that's in this box, like I just said before. Um, box opens up the first time opening the box, so it's like another unboxing. It's pretty cool, they give you wheels. Um, they look like mini little chair wheels that you put in your office, cheap office chairs at uh, Staples. No plug for Staples. Um, you can remove these feet at the bottom here. I don't know if I can spin it around, but they have, but we're gonna, we're just gonna leave the feet that are on there now. But it's pretty cool to have if you have a hardwood floor and you like to zip, move your, uh, computer around. They give you another face plate. I'm guessing this is for um, one of the mini uh, memory card sticks. Um, you know, they give you the, the 8 and one or the 12 and one It looks like they give you one so it fits perfectly. So that's nice of them, which I'll probably get eventually. Uh, I also thinking of getting one of those uh, temperature gauges for the front just because they look cool and they're not that expensive. So here's all the wire ties and some uh, screws and the risers. So let's uh, add these things and it's you know pretty easy to do. Um, you can only pretty much torque them by hand, but it's nice to have a, a tool set um, in case you're playing a lot of LAN parties and moving this thing around. You don't want these things loosening up. So let's do that now and uh, we'll uh, attach the motherboard soon. So it's basically this. You don't want to ever put a motherboard flush unless it will pretty much I think it'll short it out. So you got to have uh, some room between it. I mean it's they're really easy to add. You just screw these things in and uh, you're good to go. Um, it's probably good to have a wrench. Uh, nail them down a little bit better. But uh, you know basically you just find go by uh, if you have a full ATA board uh, ATX sorry. Uh, you can have an E ATX or a micro ATX. I have a micro ATX because that's what I got. So uh, the other boards are a lot bigger, so they need a different configuration. Um, but a lot of people are going with the micro ATX these days, so you know you want to be cool. So let me add these and uh, we'll move on. All right, got my uh, handy Black and Decker ratchet tool set here and a perfect fit. Just 
throw it down. Don't over tighten, but that's it. So let me do the rest of them and, uh, you know, we're uh, soon going to add the plate for the, uh, com the back of the motherboard. I'll explain that in the next step. So let me uh, screw these down and we'll be good. All right, we're going to add this face plate to the uh, back of the computer. Um, it pretty much just snaps right in. Um, and then you slide the motherboard in and it has all the protection and lines up all the, you know, the USB ports, the audio ports, the DVI port, printer port, all that fancy stuff that they use these days. So we're just going to snap this thing in and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, if you're wondering how it snaps in, I'm trying to get a decent camera angle, so um, just kind of lay it in here from underneath. Snap it in. It's that easy. I mean, it just, it's that simple. I mean, I can't, that may be one of the easiest things other than the RAM uh, or unboxing. Uh, so there it is. And uh, now we're ready to put the motherboard in. All right, we got uh, everything pretty much out of the way. It's always good to get rid of these wire ties. There's a couple wire ties on, uh, latched up to usually get in your way. Um, of course, they're in my way right now. So let's unlock this thing push this thing out of the way so we can get our motherboard in a lot easier. Alright. Alright, there we go. Some cables. Tons of cables that we're going to have to hook up. That's the not so fun part. Uh, so let me grab the motherboard. <clears throat> Hope I don't drop it. And then just line it up. Trying to get my head in the way, but usually if you line it up with the, uh, the plate, it lines up pretty much with the rest of the stuff. So that's it. So let's put the screws down and uh, put in the power supply next, or the, as they call it in tech terms, the PSU. So the power supply unit. Uh, all right, let me screw this thing down, and we're we're uh, we're on our way. All right, once you get it in there, it's pretty snug. Um, to the back to the back plate here that you can't see but take my word for it. CPU is pretty solid. Might be able to screw that down a little bit better. Um, I got two screws in and then I got to fill in the rest so it's pretty easy. Just they have uh, big giant stars around it. They're kind of like lock washers. Just gonna go in there and screw it down. There you go. That's it. So let me do the rest of them, and we'll uh, pop in the uh, power supply unit. Still screwing them in here. So one thing good ha about having one of these large cases. Some of those small cases, you can't get two hands in there too well. Um, I used to have a screwdriver that was non-magnetic with a little grip around the end. And once you got the uh, the screw going, you could pull the gripper off as like I just pulled my this off. Um, and it, it worked pretty well. I, I liked it. Uh, like I said, I don't like to use anything with magnets. Um, but there you go. There's a nice shot of the top of my head. So I think I got them all in. And uh, it's solid as a rock.
You don't want it too much flex with your motherboard. Not that you're going to be driving around using this, but uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty pretty solid. So I might pop these things off and just tighten these down just a hair. Um, and then, uh, like I said, we'll move on.